Welcome to PA History To Go, a series of videos presented by the Pennsylvania Historical Museum Commission with funding from the Institute of Museum and Library Services. These short videos, filmed at locations along the Pennsylvania Trails of History, serve to introduce virtual visitors to our sites as we explore the varied stories that make up Pennsylvania's rich history. Watch them all to learn about the people, places, industries, and events that make Pennsylvania so special. I'm Beth McCausland. I'm the president of the Friends of Graham Park, the site you see behind me. Graham Park was built in 1722, and it has a lot of history through that point in time to now. But the most important person, in my opinion, is Elizabeth Graham Ferguson. Her father, Dr. Thomas Graham, purchased the property in 1739. So Elizabeth started coming here at about the age of two. Elizabeth is not a rags to riches story. Elizabeth is a riches to rags. She was born into a wealthy family. Her father was a doctor. They were a high society. Elizabeth was born in what is current day Old City, Philadelphia. That was their winter residence. Dr. Graham purchased this house from Governor Keith in 1739. Elizabeth lived here and in the city until she married Henry Hugh Ferguson. That wasn't her first love though. Her first love was William Franklin, but the fathers, Ben Franklin and Dr. Thomas Graham, sought to break them apart because of their political differences. She met Henry at what was called an attic evening. The attic evenings were gatherings of Philadelphia's brightest people. They would talk politics. They would talk about current literary publications. Henry was 10 years her junior and penniless. Elizabeth looked like a good catch. Now, Elizabeth knew that her father would not approve of this. Elizabeth and Henry were secretly married. Now, that wasn't a secret that was too hard to keep from her father because Henry had a wanderlust. No sooner were they married, and he went off to Scotland to visit his brother. In September of that year, he wrote to Elizabeth and said, I'm coming home. Tell your father I don't want to live a lie. She wrote in her diary, that as she watched him come closer to the house, her hands were clammy, her heart was beating wildly. She knew what she was about to say would break his heart, but it never happened. Dr. Graham keeled over and died as she watched. He never knew what she did. Henry came home in September of 1772. He was here for about three years. They could not go back to their home in Old City. This was her home now. In 1775, Henry went again to visit his brother, but he never came back. He joined General Howe's forces and became a British Army officer. Elizabeth saw him about three times during the war. After the war, he would have been tried for treason. So he left went to Scotland and never returned to Elizabeth. Keep in mind that Henry was a traitor. And because of that, the government passed an act in 1778. It was called the Confiscation Act, and it allowed them to seize the property of a traitor. And seize it they did. They came into Graham Park and they took out almost everything that she owned. She went to that auction with a few pennies and she bought back some chairs, a tablecloth, and some pigs. Elizabeth's nephew, Dr. William Smith, purchased the property from Elizabeth in 1791 to help alleviate her financial burden. In 1793, when yellow fever hit Philadelphia, we believe that Dr. Smith and his family came up here, at which time Elizabeth moved out in December of 1793. She died in 1801. She died poor. Again, it's the richest to rags story.